Alright, welcome back to Wind Waker. Today, we need to go into the post office and do whatever we need to be told to do. And I'm really good at intros, so I'm gonna break a pot. Take a money. I can't even take money, I got 200 rupees, okay. I'm just gonna kill everyone in there. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu's anger? Ah, so you are Phoenix, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Ritu tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Ritu reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of the dragon roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables the Ritu to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. That's why you just take them. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. Well, oh well. That's what you get for abusing a trait. As Sheetan of the Ritu, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? No. Oh, god damn it. No! Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Phoenix with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see... Sorry. As you can see, Phoenix is a gallant young man. Glad. Whatever, it's the same thing. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct my son. Kamali is one of the aged to earn his wings. I definitely read that wrong. Yet he is weak in some ways and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. I would too. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? I don't know if that's possible. Will you meet with my son? I don't know. Oh god. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? Why am I doing this? I'm counting on you. I don't want to. What? But I just got dragged into. Here, Phoenix, take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. Why? Am I just forced to be doing a job? You got a delivery bag. Finally, cards bags like this are used by Ritu Postman everywhere. With so many pockets, you can hold many items. Okay, that's great. Same damn thing as the other pouches. All right. You should find Bentley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great value to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Oh my god. Great. Great, Link. This is what you get for helping people. You're forced into a job. You're probably not going to even get paid. Alright, so... We gotta, let's just go find Medley in one of the upper rooms. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, I know you. Yeah. You're the adventure guy. Sailing from island to island. Action excitement, right? Dude, I just sailed to like two islands. I, I don't know what you mean. Um, so with all the adventuring you do, did you happen to find a golden feather? I don't even know what that is. My girlfriend, she's wanting one of those things for the longest time, then she is a stubborn... Okay, sorry. And actually, I kind of promised that I'd send one to her. Well, that sucks for you, I guess. Because I'm not helping. But... The fuck was that? Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. What's that supposed to mean? Your feelings aren't... Fuck. Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Spirit, Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, 
I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. What does this mean? Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. Phoenix, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. Why can't he just give it to Prince Kamali? Okay. I'm bringing that letter, by the way. I don't care if it's private. You accept the father's letter. It is a letter from a father addressed to his son. Since you just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry it? Yeah, just one letter. I'm really salty. I don't care. I just, like, I just got in here. The room way in the back end of the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple of steps to get there. Oh, God. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. He just fucking stabs me. By the way, um, listen, Phoenix. I have a small favor I, I, uh, I'd like to ask you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. No, I don't want to. I guess I have to, though. I'll just, like I said, there's a few things you have to do here, but I don't want to do them right now. Where's the room? It's over here. I'm, I said I was going to read the letter. Can I? Let's see if I can. Can I read the letter? Son of a... Okay, whatever. You know, I want to read the letter, but I guess I can't. Wow, this guy... The prince lives all the way back here. Wow, this is kind of... This is saying something right here. It's saying the prince... Com saying Prince Kamali is a fucking... <laughs> it's a fucking outsider. Oh, what the hell is this? I think I think I just walked in at like the wrong time here. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> hey. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Don't look at that. <laughs> what do you want me to do with that? Huh? No, calm down. Oh shit! He got up. Okay, let me leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm experimenting. Not really. Hold on. Okay, go back in. He fucking found out. Let's, get, let's go out and go back in. Is he gonna do the cutscene? Okay. 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 Pull out the camera. No, I can't see his face. Hold on. Okay. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Now oh, the camera dragged again, just to let you guys know. A letter from my father. Yeah, your father actually cares for you. Oh, sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go to get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? The fuck? I just got a letter from some random girl. And they said, oh, the fuck is a little this shit. I don't know. Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? He's probably upset because you're being a bitch. What are you trying to say? You can calm Valu down? I didn't say that. That's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can't do anything. Bragging doesn't cause a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. What did I get myself into, man? It's like, I just came in here to like get some help to rescue my sister, or whatever. I don't know. And, and now, I'm, now I'm just going into convoluted quests. I think I do have to get Din's Pearl from Valu, so I guess it kind of ties things in. Oh god. Um Even so we're not we're not uh, I'm going the wrong way. I gotta go this way. Even so even if we're done with this whole place, like we still have like other things to do. Um that one guard that was talking about the golden feathers, uh we need to find twenty of those. So yeah, just letting everyone know. Okay, this is weird. Um Why is this all volcanic ash and like all the other areas is not? Oh, there she is right there. Hi. Hey, you actually came. I was about not to. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. A dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. By a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. And then the great Valu, he became so angry and... In his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plunging the spring. You can see the result. Oh. But where is my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Kamali? He was an asshole. 
There you go. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali had taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Great Valley's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave, and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned by in the same breath as her. If only I possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Phoenix, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. You know you don't. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of the Dragon Bruce, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Fine, I don't care. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. I gotta pick you up and do this? That face that legend tossed me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up here, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. I really don't get the wind here. Like, how is this possible? Okay, come here. Let's go all the way over here. Let's go all the way over here. I gotta pay attention to the wind. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna fix the camera. Okay, the wind's going that way now. That is... That makes sense. I did not mean to do that. I thought that would pull out map. Go. Oh, thank you. I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may be, I may be just an apprentice attendant, but I can't understand some of the Great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. I don't want to. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Ah, uh, what? Okay, that is an empty bottle. Status to Y is your X. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. I'm telling everyone. I'll be on, it'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. What the fuck you mean? I'm, you left me here. Okay, you know what? I'm coming up there. I, I know what to do. The thing is, get this bottle. Go right here. You fill your bottle with water. Good job. Dry so put it on dry stuff. Like my lips, because they're dry right now. They're cracking, actually. Hold on. Alright, never mind. Alright, so, you gotta go over here. Okay, get stuck on an invisible thing right there. And you see these little bonfires that are wilted? Trying to, trying to, trying to get, they're, they're grasping with life. Okay, so, get this put on there. And now, they are good. Oh shit, there you go, that should work, right? Did I fucking miss? I did, okay. Hold on. There you go, that worked, right? Are you, what? Okay, that's cool. I swear, it just takes me five times to do. There. Okay, third time's the charm. Man. That water looks disgusting, though. With all the pollution and all that. And all the ash that's flying in. It's not really a pond anymore, actually. And also, I feel like all the bridges in this game is broken. All the major bridges. It's like, you gotta be kidding me with that. Uh, what's my time? Okay, so... I'm gonna try to get in here. I hope I don't fail. So you gotta throw bombs in these little pots. Oh wow, I got that. How did I get that? I thought I thought I was never gonna make that. Oh shit. I'm not gonna get this though. Yep. Because I was at a weird angle with the camera. Hold on. How, okay, I gotta be farther away than that. Oh shit. There. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Let's try it again. Oh yeah, <laughs> wow. Okay, so this is the thing that's gonna take me five tries. Give me this stupid bomb. There. What? Okay. This is painful to watch. What the? Okay. Camera jacked. Did I get it? I got it. Look at that. MVP. Now let's go in here. Ugh. I don't. I did not want to do that again. Okay. Um. Welcome to Dragon Roost Cavern. 
The first official dungeon in the game. I don't count the Forsaken Fortress as the first dungeon. I think I did. Like, I think I did say it. I'm gonna break these pots. Alright. But the thing is, I am going to end it off here because I am at the 16 minute mark and I feel like cutting things out. So, next time we're gonna go through Dragon Roost Cavern. I don't know how long it's gonna take me. It's probably gonna take me a few parts to do this and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I will be doing all that kind of stuff. Man, the ground is shaky. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.